गुड मर्निंग स्टूडेंट वेलकम टू यूट्यूब लाइव क्लस इन एंथ्रोपोलॉजी इन द लास्ट क्लस आई हाव डिसकस्ड अबाउट डेफिनेशन एंड स्कोप ऑफ प्रिस्टोरिक आर्कियोलॉजी सो अंडर द डेफिनेशन एंड स्कोप ऑफ प्रिस्टोरिक आर्कियोलॉजी वी हाव ऑलरेडी डिसकस्ड अबाउट वेरियस रिलिवेंसेस ऑफ आर्कियोलॉजी along with uh, scope of archaeology in different context so as per our course that is the geological time scale <coughs> in the first unit of the um, first year classes so uh, geological time scale is a time scale prescribed by uh, geology as well as uh, archaeology so this is a framework time framework through which prehistorian or archaeologist or geologist they they can uh, arrange the artifacts or they can uh, they can arrange the artifacts on the basis of the various time period in context to their time period so as we know human being was developed during pleistocene period before the pleistocene period some ape like man and other uh, animals they were also originated and developed gradually so starting from the azoic era to cenozoic era there are some phases time phases time period that there are some time periods or era through which we can arrange various species animals in context to their time period so on the basis of the similarities as well as the dissimilarities of form or structure of an animal or group of animal zoologist biologist uh, archaeologist as well as physical anthropologist they can arrange the uh, various human human fossils or other uh, animal species into different phases time phases periods so on the basis of that which species was first originated and how it was developed from time to time how evolution was taken place starting from the from their primitive period to till this period the phases of evolution the phases of development changing structure in different ways in context to their time period time and space can be analyzed through the help of the geological time scale so it is a framework through which one can arrange various species their origin their evolution as well as their variation in different time period so it is highly needed this geological time scale is highly needed for a for a prehistorians because the artifacts that we are discovered from different archaeological sites throughout the world these artifacts are to be arranged systematically and scientifically and chronologically on the basis of this time period so prehistorian highly needed the geological time scale apart from this geo uh, prehistorians when attempting attempting to describing a culture or a group of culture or different cultures of different communities prehistoric communities 
So first, the student have to study in geological context. What are their paleontological evidences, geological evidences, various morphological evidences, human remains, artifacts, their tool typology, all the items, their pottery, ceramic objects, and uh, any other objects or artifacts that are found from different archaeological sites at the time of excavation. That can be analyzed through the help of the geological time scale. So, on the basis of the, uh, so for the comparative study of the culture, you, to know about the evolution of the culture, starting from the prehistoric period to protohistoric period to historical period, geological time scale is essential for analysis. For, for better comparison of cultures to find out, to reach a conclusion, to reach a conclusion. So that geological time scale is highly needed for in prehistoric archaeology. So as it was prescribed by the geologists, uh, the, from the, by the disciplines of the geologists, so the geological time scale, it is a framework of time. So, let us discuss how the implications of the geological time scale in anthropology in different context. Implication of geological time scale in biological, for a biologist, in biological anthropology, in prehistoric archaeology, how it is needed in different context. Let us discuss the relevance of the geological time scale in anthropology. Okay. So, or the significance. Significance uh, of geological time scale in anthropology. So, as we know, geological time scale which plays a key role in the study of human evidences, study of human evidences, artifacts, human evidences, artifacts or the evidences that were left out by the early human beings, prehistoric man. So to study scientifically and systematically we have to follow the geological time scale. Human evidences, particularly in the subdiscipline of the paleoanthropology and archaeology. So, geological time scale, which is highly needed in study of the paleoanthropology. Paleo means old, anthropology means study of human beings. As well as in archaeology, archaeos and logos. Archaeos ancient, that means ancient, logos means the study of scientific study of ancient things, artifacts. So, in the study of the paleoanthropology and archaeology, these human evidences were studied scientifically, chronologically, in context to the geological time period under the subdiscipline of the paleoanthropology and archaeology, which is very important. Without the geological time period, time scale, prehistorians or anthropologists cannot describing the culture in scientifically. So, it is highly needed in paleoanthropology and archaeology. Then come to the next point, the, through the geological time scale, biological evolution, already discussed that biological evolution of different species in context to different time periods can be identified. So, the biological evolution of different species, as we know, at the beginning only unicellular animals were developed, later on multicellular animals developed, later on various uh, frogs, uh, fish, amphibians, insects. Later on, in anthropological uh, web study, we can identify the F, F like man, 
homo fossils, homo habilis, homo erectus, homo sapiens, homo sapiens sapiens. This is the various different animals, species, were developed in different time period. So, to know the exact age of the evolution of different species and to arrange them in scientifically and chronologically, we can take the help of geological time scale. So, that to know the biological evolution, to know the biological evolution of a different species, biological evolution of different species in context to different time period, that may be the azoic period, proterozoic period, archaeozoic period, proterozoic period, paleozoic, mesozoic, xenozoic, these periods, how a particular species was developed in a particular time period in context to their environment, in context to various time period and space. These are analyzed scientifically on the basis of the geological time scale. Okay. Then cultural variations, particularly in case of the artifacts, typology and other human evidences, other human evidences over a period of time can be identified. Artifacts, already we discussed what is the meaning of artifacts. Artifacts means artificially produced by the man. Any object that can be artificially produced by the man, that is the artifacts. Typology, typology means tool families of tool, tool families, typology, tools, ancient tool of the prehistoric people, ancient people. So, to study ty the typological system, the typology, to study the human evidences, to study the artifacts of prehistoric period, prehistory, take the help of the geological time scale, to study these facts in scientifically and chronologically. Because without the time scale, one cannot study these things scientifically. Okay. So, different species and their natural setting and the biological diversity in context to various time period can be traced by this time scale. Different species different species and their natural setting, ecological setting, their ecological condition, various species with their ecological condition, ecological habitat, ecological nature, how uh, their environmental condition, their uh, ecological setting, their uh, biodiversity of that period, that can be analyzed to the help of the time scale. So, their natural setting, biological diversity, biological diversity in context to time period. So, various biological uh, diversity, natural setting, ecological condition, environmental situation, all are uh, scientifically investigated through the period of geological time scale. Because in the ancient period, uh, as we know, there are four glaciations were occurred. One is Goons, Mendel, Rishwa. During that glaciation period, glacial period or ice ages, that is known as also ice ages. Various, uh, the climatic condition was too cold. Heavy ice was formed. So, to know about the glaciation, to know about the climatic conditions of the prehistoric period can be described through the help of the geological time scale. Okay. So, it is helpful to define the origin and evolution, origin and evolution of extinction and extinction, which is very important, extinction of animals. Suppose, I mean, the case, example of a dinosaur, but a species, that is extinction here, like, lobe pai gala, kahi ki lobe pai gala. So, what are the reasons behind it? 
हाउ द क्लाइमेटिक फ्लक्चुएशन हाउ द क्लाइमेटिक फ्लक्चुएशन हेज अफेक्टेड टू द एनिमल लाइफ पर्टिकुलरली इन केस ऑफ डायनोसोर्स सो द एक्सटेंशन ऑफ एनिमल्स फर्स्ट द ओरिजिन इन व्हिच टाइम पीरियड ए पर्टिकुलर स्पीशीज वाज ओरिजिनेटेड व्हाट आर द फैक्टर्स ऑफ दैट फैक्टर्स ऑफ ओरिजिन एंड दे हाउ इट वाज चेंज्ड हाउ द फॉर्म और द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ द लाइफ फिजिकल लाइफ वाज चेंज्ड फ्रॉम टाइम टू टाइम इन व्हाट कंडीशन व्हाट इज द क्लाइमेटिक व्हाट आर द क्लाइमेटिक कंडीशन एट दैट टाइम पीरियड so in context to the climatic condition in context to the ecological setting the physical structure of an animal or species can be changed and the evolution can be taken place so that study of that evolution study of the changing structure of an animal study of the extinction of an animal can be described through the help of the geological time scale okay so Uh, then come to the this is studied under the prehistory which is helpful to make a study on the extinction of races which races suppose a particular uh, species they have a multiple races human beings you know i mean we you know race race racial group ones that we are calling that the mendelian population okay so which mendelian population which racial group which uh, ethnic group has been changed from in context to different time what are the physical structures physical forms can be changed from time to time how it was changed what are the criteria that through which the physical structure can be changed from time to time in context to different ecological condition that can be studied the extinction of races and the um, various racial group how it was abolished and reconstruction of a man's past the past reconstruction of the man's past during the protohistoric period during the prehistoric period all are described through the geological time scale in context of time period through the geological time scale genetic variation of species जेनेटिक वेरिएशन ऑफ स्पेसिस सो द जेनेटिक वेरिएशन ऑफ स्पेसिस बायोलॉजिकल डाइवर्सिटीज ऑफ स्पेसिस बायोलॉजिकल डाइवर्सिटीज जेनेटिक वेरिएशन जीन फ्रिक्वेंसी हाउ ए पर्टिकुलर स्पेसिस हैज बीन क्लासिफाइड इनटू डिफरेंट रेशियल ग्रुप डिफरेंट ग्रुप सब ग्रुप in which context in which period that can be analyzed through the geological time scale because it is prescribed the age and time period of a particular species their origin their evolution their variation their changes their so are of all the subspecies and their subspecies can be identified can be analyzed through the help of the geological time scale so to know about the climatic condition of that period ice age already discussed kaurisalini charita ice age achi bunch mindel reese war these four ice ages along with their contemporary climatic condition how the climatic condition was changed during glacial period and during interglacial period and what are the effect of the changing uh, environment towards the species so these are studied under the help of the time scale then next it helps to know uh, the geological deposits geological deposits which is very important geological deposits evidences of uh, glaciation आई से समय विभिन्न डिपोजिट होवी आईस फर्मेसन इंटरग्लासीआल पीरियड आईस मेल्टिंग है डिपोजिट एयर फाउंड इन डिफरेन्ट प्लेसेस प्रोवेल पीरियड हेवी रेन होती इंटरप्रोवेल पीरियड एविडेन्सेस गुडा 
identify questions. So, various geological evidences, archaeological evidences, we are found from different parts. So, that can be described, that can be analyzed through the help of the geological time scale to know about the climatic condition as well as their habitat, as well as their biological diversity of different populations in different contexts, in different time periods. Okay. So, uh, it investigates prehistory as well as protohistorical figure. So, during the prehistoric period, starting from the Paleolithic period to Mesolithic period, then Neolithic period, then Chalcolithic, that is the protohistoric period. So, starting from the Paleolithic period to till date, all are studied to the help of the geological time period. Okay. Further, it has been prepared objectively. It has been prepared objectively, keeping in objective, objectively, to explain the manner of animal evolution. Manner of animal, different animals, not only human evolution, but also all animal evolution. So, which particular, uh, which uh, in which particular time period, a particular animal particular species was developed as we know the from starting from the simple uh, simple form of life to complex form of life simple form of life to complex form of life homogeneous to heterogeneous conditions of life that can be uh, the time period of that particular species can be analyzed to the help of the time scale so the archaeological strata formed by the geological process Archaeological strata evidence that may be from, from, uh, found from the river terraces, stratigraphical evidences that may be the <coughs> stratigraphical evidences, or that can be studied through the help of the river terrace or any other way. So, this archaeological strata formed by the geological process, geological effect, geological process in the archaeological strata would have deposit in a place on basis of their climatic condition that can be studied whether these geological strata were artificial or natural, whether it is naturally deposited or whether it is artificially made by them that can be studied through the help of the geological time scale okay so for the understanding of the paleo environment paleo environment ancient environment and it can be possible through the geological time scale so the evidences geological evidences geological strata stratigraphical uh, uh, strata river terraces all are studied in archaeological context through the help of the geological time scale and the knowledge of raw materials particular raw materials knowledge of raw materials as we know the prehistorian prehistoric <coughs> the prehistoric people used various stone as their tools and they manufactured tools from the stone so the knowledge of the stones in different geological period must have get to about a concrete idea about the tool typology. So, the knowledge of raw materials that have been used in manufacturing of tools, preparing of stone tools, preparing of the stone tools, weapons by prehistoric people in different time periods. So, as we know, during Paleolithic period, that is the pebble tool culture during Mesolithic, uh, Middle Paleolithic period. That is the flake tool culture, Upper Paleolithic bone tool culture, blade and urine culture, Mesolithic microlithic culture. These classifications were arranged on the basis of the time scale. So, the uh, before going to study about the tool type we have to get the knowledge of time scale otherwise we cannot arrange it systematically on the basis of the time scale 
geological process okay so geological time scale is highly required for a peaceful day then it is follows then it is follows the chronological sequence it is follows the chronological sequence means it follows the chronological sequence of earth past period chronological sequence which sequence is very ancient and which sequence is recent which sequence is more, most earliest and most recent these chronological sequences can be studied through the help of the geological time scale the chronological uh, sequence of uh, stratigraphy stratigraphy the chronological sequence of a uh, geological strata can be identified with the help of this uh, time scale through this the various paleontological evidences geographical evidences and geological evidences can also be described through the help of the through the help of the geological time scale so geological time scale is highly needed for a geologist for an archaeologist as well as for a historian okay so for a proper investigation prehistorian or physical anthropologist use this time scale to study the past geological and archaeological process with biological evidence already we have discussed various geological process how various geological process archaeological process we are deposited we are found in different context in different layers of the earth different strata can be analyzed in context to the biological evolution and simultaneously how biological evolution were taken place these are analyzed through the help of the time scale so in the study of various stages of human evolution archaeologist utilize the new knowledge of the geological time scale to study the various layers or sequence of the earth sequences of the earth various sequences of the earth geological sequences of the earth can be studied with the help of the geological time scale and along with various stages of the human evolution starting from the homo habilis to homo erectus homo sapiens and homo sapiens sapiens how the human stages were developed in context to different time period that can be described through the geological time scale or to know about scientifically the evolutionary process of the human being also is the product of the geological time scale so with the help of geological time scale archaeologist tries to know the age of the deposits age of the deposits in which age which period the deposit belongs to which period which age whether that is in the uh, proterozoic period or paleozoic or mesozoic or cenozoic period that can be described or identified through the help of the time scale so the ancient peoples interactions with the environment already we have discussed this environment origin and evolution and anthropogenic environment it is very important anthropogenic environment and prehistoric adaptation of the primitive people can be traced through the geological time scale so various anthropogenic environment environment in context to the human evolution environment in context to the human society human variations in different time period and prehistoric adaptation prehistoric biological adaptation cultural adaptation in different environmental conditions as well as the origin and evolution of uh, different uh, species in context to different time period of the primitive people can be traced through the geological time scale then come to the next point that is the environmental archaeology already in the last class we have already discussed about the environmental archaeology paleoecology okay so environmental archaeologist also take the help of the 
जियोलॉजिकल टाइम स्केल टू अचीव ए मोर होलिस्टिक अंडरस्टैंडिंग टू मोर होलिस्टिक अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ द पास्ट ह्यूमन इंटरेक्शन विद द एनवायरनमेंट होलिस्टिक अंडरस्टैंडिंग इन ए होलिस्टिक वे कैन एनालाइज द सिचुएशन इन होलिस्टिक वे होलिस्टिक अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ द पास्ट ह्यूमन इंटरेक्शन एंड एनवायरनमेंट so it helps uh, for arranging time in periods already we have discussed this time periods various time periods ascertaining the dates of historical order and past event ascertaining the historical orders and time past periods and it helps to record human history human history record kanchi accuracy madhye maintain huchi of animals in historical context it is seeks to place all happenings in a time all happenings of the prehistoric period that can be maintained in a time sequence to cover the vast epochs vast epoch ko cover kariya pai ame geological time scale o sajjan ho chundi to sequence maintain kari sequence study kariya pai and it helps the archaeological excavation archaeological excavation in concern with the order and relative position of strata various strata order order of strata position of the strata and their relation to the geological time scale that can be also studied through the help of the geological time scale so it also helps the arranging artifacts tools in in context to different time period arranging art artifacts and tools in order to classify the according to the similarities and disparity so arranging uh, the tools artifacts according to their similarities according to their dissimilarity on the basis of time period can be analyzed with the help of the time scale biocultural evolution in extent can be analyzed it also tells the modern races modern races have been evolved from the older ones in the past history of human beings past form of the human being can be described through this so now come to the main the topic that is the geological time scale these are the relevances significances of the geological time scale that were used in case of the anthropology and other related disciplines so geological time scale which is very important in archaeological study in biological study and biological study so under the geological time scale there are these are the eras these are the eras eras the ancient era that is known as azoic azoic then archaeozoic then azoic then archaeozoic then protozoic paleozoic mesozoic and cenozoic these are the eras that is the azoic archaeozoic protozoic paleozoic mesozoic and cenozoic this is a table classic classified by the geologist the first one the azoic archaeozoic protozoic paleozoic mesozoic and cenozoic so these eras are classified into different types so what are the time periods azoic has so the era that already we have discussed that is the azoic archaeozoic protozoic paleozoic mesozoic and cenozoic these are the eras that uh, under the geological time scale so uh, various time periods that is the azoic has not been classified into different time periods and archaeozoic which is archean archean archaeozoic is the archean period and protozoic that is the pre cambrian then paleozoic cambrian or cambrian ordovician silurian devonian carboniferous permian then mesozoic triassic jurassic cretaceous the three phases time period 
then come to the synergic that is the div divided into two parts that is the tertiary and quaternary. So, starting from the azoic period to azoic to up to synergic that is the azoic, archean, precambarian, cambarian, ordovician, silurian, devonian, carboniferous, permian, triassic, jurassic, cretaceous, these are the periods and the tertiary and quaternary. So, these are the periods, eragula, time period. Then, epochs. So, up to Azoic, Archaeozoic, Tutorzoic, Paleozoic, Mesozoic, they have no epochs. Only Synozoic, the period of Synozoic has classified into different eras. As we know, Synozoic has been classified into, Synozoic has been classified into uh, two periods. One is Tertiary, one is Tertiary and another one is Quaternary. One is Tertiary and another is Quaternary. Quater, quaternary. Tertiary and Quaternary. Two periods. Synergy Kera has been classified into two periods. One is Tertiary and another is Quaternary. So, Tertiary period. So, the tertiary period again classified into tertiary period again classified into tertiary period again classified into uh, two periods, high period. The first one is the Paleocene, Paleocene, Eocene, Oligocene, Miocene, Pliocene. These are the uh, epochs under the tertiary period. Uh, Paleocene, Eocene, Oligocene, Miocene, Pliocene, and Quaternary period again classified into two epochs that is the Pleistocene and Holocene. Okay, so Paleocene, Eocene, Oligocene, Miocene, Pliocene, Pleistocene, and Holocene. These are the epochs under the Cenozoic period. As we know, Cenozoic has been classified into two periods one is Tertiary and Quaternary. Tertiary is classified into Paleocene, Eocene, Oligocene, Miocene, Pliocene, and Quaternary period is classified into Pleistocene and so, that the Paleocene, Eocene, Oligocene, Miocene, Pliocene, then a quaternary period that is the Pleistocene and Holocene, epoch. So, on the basis of these epochs, uh, the time period of different epochs, different time period, different periods, different era has been classified. So, the Holocene period which is 10,000 BP. Before present, 10,000 BP means that is the before present, 10,000 BP. And the Pleistocene period, which is 3 million years ago, 3 million years ago. And the Pliocene, that is the, uh, the Paleocene, that is the 75. Then the Eocene, that is the 58 million years ago. Then the Oligocene, that is the 39 million years ago. Then the Miocene, 28 million years ago. Pliocene, 12 million years ago. And Pleistocene, 3 million years ago. So, starting from the Paleocene, Eocene, Oligocene, Miocene, Pliocene, Pleistocene, and Holocene. So, 10,000 years BP, then 3 million years, then 12, then uh, 28, 39, 58, and 75 million years. So, so Mesozoic period, that is the 135 million years, Cretaceous, Jurassic 163, Triassic 205, then Permian 205, 25 to 280, Carboniferous 280 to 345. Uh, Silurian 345 to 395, Ordovician up to 500, Precambrian up to 925 million years, and Archean stage that is the 1500 million years ago. These are the time period prescribed by the in the geological time scale. Okay. Then come to the uh, again, again, Pleistocene is classified into three divisions, one, uh, three types. One is the lower Pleistocene, then middle Pleistocene, then upper Pleistocene. Lower Pleistocene, middle Pleistocene, upper Pleistocene. So, that is the lower Pleistocene, middle Pleistocene, and upper Pleistocene. So, on the basis of these, various animals, species were developed in context to different time periods, in context to different geological time periods. 
सो ये जो विभिन्न टाइम पीरियड रे वेरियस स्पेसिस वे आर स्पेसिस वे आर डेवलप इन कॉन्टेक्स्ट टू वेरियस टाइम पीरियड दैट कैन बी डिस्क्राइब द जियोलॉजिकल टाइम स्केल सो स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम द एजोइक दैट द नो एविडेंसेस ऑफ लाइफ नो एविडेंसेस ऑफ लाइफ नो एविडेंसेस ऑफ लाइफ एंड ड्यूरिंग द आर्कियोजोइक ओनली यूनिसेलुलर यूनिसेलुलर एनिमल्स वेयर फाउंड ड्यूरिंग द प्रोटेरोजोइक इनवर्टिब्रेट्स वेयर फाउंड then pre cambrian uh, stage that is the snails then fish and vertebrates then uh, small insects fish frog reptiles frog insects reptile frog insects and uh, uh, during the mesozoic era that is the fish reptiles and primitive mammals were originated then uh during triassic during jurassic that is the fish reptiles primitive mammals and birds were also originated then during the cretaceous that is the developed reptiles mammals and birds so in anthropology particularly in anthropology we follow the time period up to cenozoic cenozoic so before that there is the subject matter of other disciplines but in anthropology we uh, go study in total total way so but in anthropology we specially focus up to the cenozoic era so cenozoic as we classify that the two types one is tertiary and quaternary tertiary and quaternary then the tertiary the epoch of the tertiary that is the paleocene eocene oligocene miocene pliocene pliocene then pleistocene and holocene as we know so during the paleocene various insects were developed During oligo oligocene, ol no eocene, sorry eocene, that is the modern mammals, and oligocene, that is the primitive man-like, primitive man-like, highest uh, ape, greatest apes, man-like ape, or ape-like man, that were developed during the oligocene period. Then miocene, uh, various ancient fossils that were discovered: Dryopithecus, Proplyopithecus, Sibapithecus, man-like ape. these are the developed from developed from the uh, during the uh, miocene period okay so uh, proplyopithecus dryopithecus these are the fossils human like fossils ancestors they were developed during that period then come to the pliocene pre man structure pre man structure pliocene which is very important during the pre man structure that is the uh, and ape like man were developed then come to the pleistocene pleistocene as we already described that the lower pleistocene middle pleistocene and upper pleistocene so during the middle lower pleistocene lower pleistocene that the homo habilis were discovered australopithecus africanus australopithecus bussei or australopithecus robusta these are the fossils were discovered were developed during the lower pleistocene period then come to the middle pleistocene period middle pleistocene period uh the uh, ancestor of human that is the uh, homo erectus pithecanthropus erectus anthropus pekinsis with the java man or peking man and other contemporary uh, uh, species were developed in the during the middle pleistocene then come to the upper pleistocene that is the homo sapiens or neanderthalensis homo sapiens and neanderthalensis various fossils various uh, human like uh, men ancestor of human uh, homo sapiens homo neanderthals were discovered from the were developed during the upper paleolithic period then during the holocene that is the 10000 bp or 8300 plus minus 200 so 10000 bp that is the uh, during holocene homo sapiens sapiens of the modern man was developed okay then as we know already have discussed kari sarleni jinsa je amara cenozoic period ta di bari vyakta hichi one is tertiary and quaternary that is the paleocene eocene oligocene miocene pliocene and pleistocene joda i 3 million years pleistocene uh, holocene ela 10000 bp 10000 before present 10000 bp means before present Uh, 10,000 BP means before present. So 10,000 BP. Well, then Pleistocene 3 million years. That the one is the lower Pleistocene, middle Pleistocene, upper Pleistocene. Eh? Then uh, Paleocene, Eocene, Paleocene, Eocene, Oligocene, Miocene, Pliocene, Pliocene, Paleocene, Eocene, Oligocene, Miocene, Pliocene. During the tertiary period, during the quaternary period, Pleistocene, lower Pleistocene, middle Pleistocene, upper Pleistocene, and Holocene. So 
this paleocene eocene or eocene miocene pliocene that is the 58 39 28 12 and million years ago pleistocene that is the approximately 3 million years ago holocene that is the 10000 bp okay so what are that the lower pleistocene middle pleistocene and upper pleistocene okay so as we already discussed that uh, during holocene period homo sapiens sapiens of the modern man were developed during pleistocene that the upper pleistocene homo sapiens or neanderthalensis and the middle pleistocene that the homo erectus Pithecanthropus erectus, Java man and Peking man, lower Pistocin that is the Homo habilis, Australopithecin, the group of Australopithecin that the Australopithecin Africanus, Australopithecus of uh, Robustus, Australopithecus of Bosi or Zianthropus. Okay, then the, uh, during the Pliocene period, the pre man structure and ape. And during Miocene, ape like man, Shiba Pithecus, Dry Pithecus, ape like man, these were also discovered, now were also developed during the Oligocene period that the primitive man like ape. Primitive man like ape, Eocene period that is the modern mammals, okay, these are developed. Then, Paleocene period that is the insects. Then, come to the Mesozoic period that is already a matter period, Tinta period, or Triassic, Jurassic, and Cretaceous, Tinta period, I am calling era Mesozoic era, of classify the Synodic period, that is the Triassic, Jurassic, and Cretaceous, Tari Pok division Nahi, the Tari period, Cretaceous, 135 million years, uh, 163 million years ago. And tricycle 205 million years ago. Our Cretaceous period re, de, de, developed reptiles and mammals and birds were developed. Jurassic period re, fish, reptiles, primitive mammals and birds were developed. During Triassic period, that is the fish, reptiles and primitive mammals were also developed or originated. So come to the Paleozoic period. So during the Paleozoic period, that is the Vakarchandi, Cambarian, Ordovician, Silurian, Devonian, Carboniferous, Permian. Paleozoic era to classify the period. Cambarian, Ordovician, Silurian, Devonian, Carboniferous, Permian. Okay. So during the Carbonic period, that the 500 to 600 million, maximum 600 million years ago, Ordovician up to 500 million years ago, Silurian up 440, Devonian 395, Carboniferous 345, Permian 280. So simultaneously reptiles, frogs, fish developed during Permian period. Carboniferous reptiles, frogs and insects, double period fish and frogs, children and snails and insects, fish and vertebrates and snails that were originated or evolved during that period. Then come to the Proterozoic period, era, Proterozoic, Archaeozoic and Aegean. So Proterozoic as we already discussed that Proterozoic period which is the, the period of the Precambrian, Archaeozoic is the Archaea, Aegean has no one. Okay, so Aegean, Archaeozoic, Proterozoic, Archean, Precambrian. Okay, that is the 1500 million years ago, 925 million years ago. So, first uh, during the Archean period or Archaeozoic era, that is the unicellular animals were developed. Uh, during the Proterozoic era or Precambrian period, that is the invertebrates were discovered. So, in total, uh, let us uh, summarize. So, what is that? The, that means the era, that is the Azoic, Archaeozoic, Proterozoic. Paleozoic, Mesozoic, and Synodic. Okay, that is the era. Then, Azoic ra, konsi period nahi, um, Archaeozoic ra, uh, Archean, then Precambrian, Cambrian, Ordovician, Silurian, Devonian, Carboniferous, Permian, then Mesozoic, Triassic, Jurassic, Cretaceous, then Synodic, uh, Tertiary and Quaternary. Tertiary classified into Paleocene, Eocene, Oligocene, Miocene, Pliocene, then Quaternary, Pleistocene, that is the classified into Lower Pleistocene, Middle Pleistocene, and Upper Pleistocene. Okay, so simultaneously human evolution can take place, that is the Lower Pleistocene Homo habilis, Middle Pleistocene Homo erectus, Upper Pleistocene Homo sapiens, and Holocene period, that is the Homo sapiens sapiens or modern man. Okay. And the Pleistocene that is the 3 million years ago and uh, Holocene that is the 10,000 BP, the before project. Okay. Then uh, 12, uh, 25, 38 million years ago, simultaneously. Okay. Then, so this time scale also provides the Pleistocene division, Pleistocene epoch into various divisions that is known as the Pleistos, Greek word derived from the Greek word Pleistos meaning most. And OS means new. So, 
Pristosnoise. That is means the most new. That is the Pristosin, big one. And uh, this was described by Charles Lely. Charles Lely in his book Principles of Geology. In his book Principles of Geology by Charles Lely. So uh, he classified uh, on the basis of the time period, Pristosin period, as uh, we have already discussed, as three types: lower Pristosin, middle Pristosin, and upper. Pristocene. Sometimes it is also classified as the four patterns. Basal Pistocin, lower, middle, and upper. Basal Pistocin, lower Pistocin, middle Pistocin, and upper Pistocin. So, Basal Pistocin is also known as the Villa Francian stage. Okay, known as the Villa Francian stage. So, our already uh, earlier classes, we have already discussed that the four types of the glaciation, Gunz, Mindel, Rishworm, that is the ice age, four ice ages, and three interglacial periods. The Gunz, Mindel, Mindel, Rishworm, that is the basal pistocin, lower pistocin, middle pistocin, and upper pistocin. These are the uh, glaciations, ice ages. Ice ages. Okay. So that the sorry, sorry. This is the ice ages. This is the ice ages. So that the Gunz, Mindel, Rishwar. That the four types of the glaciations, and the during that the climate was too cold, and ice were formed. Heavily formation of the ice. So that the Gunz Mindel Rishworm. And the interglacial period, that is the three interglacial period, Gunz Mindel interglacial period, Mindel Rish interglacial period, Rish and warm interglacial period. The three interglacial period, the climate was uh, warm in conditions. Okay. So various uh, geological depositions were found during these periods. Okay. So the uh, geological time scale is needed to classify this uh, to, to analyze the geological evidences on the in scientific. In scientific. Okay, so as is done the for worm, these mineral goons, four glaciations, then that is also basal pistocin is also known as the villa friendship stage, that is the uh, donau glaciation, that is the donau glaciation. So, goons, mineral, reissuer, goons, mineral, mineral, reissuer, um, interglacial, first, second, third. Okay, so. So, uh, in tropical zones, uh, particularly in case of the Africa, uh, we also the we also know about the prevailing periods through the help of the geological time scale. That is the Gambalian, Kanjeran, Amasian, Kageran. These four types uh, pluvial period. During that period, heavy rains were found. Okay, that the Gamba is on three interpluvial periods. Three interpluvial periods and four. Pluvial periods. So that is the Gambalian, Kanjeran, Kanjeran, Kamasian, Kamasian, Kagiran. These are the three interpluvial periods during, and these are the four pluvial periods that were found from the tropical zones of Africa. Okay, in, in case of the Africa. So this is all about the geological time scale. As we know, the uh, geological time scale. Uh, is highly needed in anthropology, in archaeology, in geology, in uh, to know about the biological evolution, to know about the biological origin of different species in contrast to various time periods. So, as we know, the these are the eras that is the Azoic, Archaeozoic, Protozoic, Paleozoic, Mesozoic, and Cenozoic. These are the eras. Then periods: uh, Archean, Precambrian, Cambrian. Uh, Ordovician, Silurian, Devonian, Carboniferous, Permian, Triassic, Jurassic, Cretaceous, and uh, Tertiary and Quaternary. Okay, then Epoch, Paleocene, Eocene, Oligocene, Miocene, Pliocene, then Pleistocene and Holocene. Then again, Pleistocene classified into sub periods, sub epochs. That is the lower Pleistocene, middle Pleistocene, upper Pleistocene. Or sometimes it is also treated as four types: partial Pleistocene, lower Pleistocene, middle Pleistocene, and upper Pleistocene. And that is the Holocene. And the four glaciations were found, that is the Gunz, Mindel, Rish, or three interglacial period that, is, that, was, uh, that were found, that the Gunz, Mindel, first interglacial, Mindel, Rish, second interglacial, Rish, or the third interglacial period. Okay. So, in African context, we also found the four pluvial periods, that the Gambalian, Kajeran, Kamasian, and Kageran, four pluvial periods. And the three interpluvial periods, Gambalian, Kajeran, Kajeran, Kamasian, Kamasian, Kageran, three interpluvial heavy rain found in the pluvial periods. So, on the basis of the uh, geological time scale, we classify the human evolution into different periods. That is, the, during the lower Pleistocene, that uh, we classify the Homo habilis. 
in the middle pistocene we classified the homo erectus during the upper pistocene homo sapiens and neanderthalensis were right? uh, arranged then in the holocene period that is the modern man or homo sapiens sapiens were arranged okay and uh, miocene pliocene period we have to put some ape like man and other uh, such, uh, such type of species were found in the okay so geological time scale is highly needed in context to um, to know about the biological evolution to know the geological deposits to know the archaeological deposit to know about the archaeological remains to know about the past human culture in anthropology okay thank you